Hi everyone, Rob551 here. Today we're going to play our first episode of The Binding of Isaac. Today I'm going to do an Isaac run to start things off, but in the future we'll probably do a more random runs. And hopefully, hopefully, it won't be long until you know what comes out. You know what I mean. Rebirth, of course. Anyway, let's get things started here with our nice little d6. d6 is such a dude. Such a dude. Let's look in here. I'm not playing spider mod or any stuff, it's just... I'm just getting the recording side and everything. It's it's just Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamp. No mods, enchantments, frills, frilly bras or anything. Just the Binding of Isaac, just killing some headless dudes. Look at them, they're like, oh, where's my head? Oh, oh. I'm dead. Okay. No drop. How disappointing. How disappointing. But anyway. Let's check what's up here. Oh, I hate this fire. When you least expect it, this thing poops out one of these shots. Okay, one more coin. And Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Okay. First, let's look here, and Envy, yeah, not the hardest, but one of the most annoying enemies. Of course, the most important thing to remember is that you only attack the small segments. The large segments, if you attack only the largest segments on the screen, you will be swarmed, and the only situation where this is really recommended is if you're super overpowered like if you have Grim Polly or something okay now the small one will die come on come on you can do it yeah you can do it okay two ones left I shouldn't be hit in this fight but it, I won't I won't really prom make any promises sometimes the splits can be weird and yeah got hit once who cares? This is the first floor. We can't do. Uh, we can't earn any devil rooms. But generally, I haven't played Isaac in a quite a long time, actually. So my dodging, I'm sorry to say, is not really up to par. So if I get, if you're, if you're, let's let's put it this way. If you're one of these uh, viewers who cannot cannot possibly take people taking dumb damage. Who cannot who cringe inside when they see people seeing dumb damage, then you might have to take an aspirin or something because I am bound to take dumb damage. Because I. It's such a long time since I played this game and I need to get my dodges back up. So, this is basically the reason why I chose Isaac for this first episode. Isaac is generally the most powerful character, period. Some people say, yeah, I remember this, this interview where Edmund Millen himself, himself said that he thought Eve is the most powerful character. But let's put diplomatically, Bisnap said that Isaac is the best character. I think he said it at some point, but anyway, if you know Bisnap, then I, then you know he would have he would say that Isaac is the most powerful character. And yeah, gonna take some meat, make Isaac even more powerful. Meat, of course, is one ha one full filled health up and a small damage up. Spam for the secret room. Ah, not that great. Not that great. Okay, unicorn horn touched this, so it doesn't appear again. And yeah, I guess we'll take Lard, even though Lard will make my already not perfect dodges even worse. But who cares, right? We want the uh, health. No spirit hearts. It does not look good well for me. Being slowed, being out of practice, and having no spirit hearts. Uh, if I will earn the deal with the devil on the next floor, mm, let's put it this way. Um, I wouldn't bet on it. I wouldn't really bet on it. Okay. Check this one out. Oh, this room's easy, but no key. Hmm. No key. No key is bad key. 
he was suicide, nice. Yeah, and the nice thing about these popcorn heads is they don't do any contact damage. They're like the opposite of those evil... Oh, those evil big... Big uh, things with the bombs, the mully booms. They are really evil because they explode in your face and they home in on you and it's terrible. Yeah, these enemies have very low range, so it's nice as well. Ah, a key. Come on, good item. Come on, good item, good item, good item. Come on, you can do it, game. You can do it, RNG. And uh, it's not very good. It would be good if I had no spacebar item. Or it, let's say it would be... It is better than nothing. If you start with Eve or Samson or so, you might definitely want to take up the sanitary pad. But... Nah, not for Isaac. Okay, shoot the fire right at the beginning. This is so that these uh, hoppers don't become flaming, don't catch on fire, because this gives them more health and they can jump farther. And one of the main thing, things that makes these hoppers easier to deal with than those spiders, for example, is that they that they have such a low jumping range. But if they get on fire, man... Things don't look too good. Okay, kill this one. Yes, come on. Thank you. I have a small damage up already, but still not very satisfied with my damage, of course. Oh, yes. In theory, it should be easy to cheese this guy. And by the way, I'm gonna take some dumb, dumb damage. Dumb, dumb damage. Really, really dumb damage. I am going to take. Hopefully not, but... Oh, look at those nuts egg fly. I don't like you. Yeah, it was killed immediately. Very nice. In theory, you should just be able to keep this guy in an infinite loop. But in practice, uh, not so much. And he goes again. And he spawns. No, I don't want you to spawn, Mr. Mr. Famine Sir, Famine Xianchang, I do not appreciate you spawning so many flies. Come on, Devil Room with good deal, Devil Room with a good deal. And Devil Room, nice. Good deal, good deal, good deal, good deal. Oh, it's Krampus. I could reroll Krampus, but I've seen so many Let's Players who reroll Krampus item into something terrible that I'm not sure I'm gonna reroll it. I might take another. I might take this reroll elsewhere. Krampus! Ah, not in the face! Yeah. This is really stupid. You should not take damage against Krampus. You see, I'm a little bit rusty in this game. I'm not really... I'm not really in training, so to speak. I'm gonna take a lot of damage against Krampus and it's terrible. The only real excuse I have is that I'm a bit slowed. You know, slowly, slowly, slowly. With my little belly, flapping around with my laddie belly. That's like the, the top of irony. The top of irony because I picked up this nice little lard for more health, but this causes me to take so much damage that again. Again. Ah, my nice spirit heart. No. Why? Why? Well, I think the lard is a very fun item. Not really fun to play with, but fun to from a design standpoint because it protects you by giving you lots of health. But at the same time, yeah, I'm going to take this one. But at the same time, this makes you a lot more vulnerable by slowing you down. So if I come across a speed up, I will probably take it. To be quite honest with you guys. Okay, let's check back. See our nice little culture lump of co lump of coal, of course, increases your damage every frame your tears on a second. So you want to be f as far away from enemies as possible while you're shooting them. Oh god awful item. This item is so bad. Uh, 
feel like if you made a top 20 list of all the of the worst items in Binding of Isaac, this would be on it. Hardly any doubt. So I will go to the curse room and see if they have like a brimstone or packed for free or something. And it's a teleport that's totally useless because I fought Krampus. Man, Krampus. I mean, your damage is nice. Nice. Your damage is nice. But... No, I want... I really, like, wanted to have a good deal with the devil on this floor. If there's one thing that really ticks me off, I can kind of dig low health runs. Low health runs are kind of okay because they keep you on your toes, but low damage runs... Ah, oh, low damage runs, they are just... I mean, if you could dodge like Bisnap or like Cobalt Streak, then you could take base damage and finish the game with base damage. At least uh, certainly go to Shoal with base damage, but it makes everything so slow. Having base damage makes everything so slow. Just look at those, those silkworms, they take so many hits to kill. So many hits. Yes, mister, you are going to die you are going to die too. And another bomb. Bombs and keys. I like those. Bombs and keys. Here you want to kill those flying fistula parts above the ravine if you can, because then they won't spawn anything. But I think if you kill them, those silkworms have less HP. Oh no. Yeah, there goes my double chance. Thank you very much, Mr. Silkworm. And what's this room? Uh, I would have gotten hit in this room anyway because I'm slow. So not that salty, but still salty. <laughs> Blocked your way with a bomb. You little piece of silkworm. The pill. The pill is a lie. I like it how it says pills here, it's so nice. Of course, if you don't know why it says pills here or what this is all about. Oh, a little gish, nice, close enemies. If you don't know why it says pills here, it says so because of Left 4 Dead. In case, I, I'm assuming you already know, so I don't want to insult you, insult anybody. But if you don't know, it says pills here, this is a reference to the game Left 4 Dead because when uh, one of the characters uh, finds some pills, they say pills here to the other to notify the other uh, players, I guess that there are some pills around which gives you health The Magician, God Awful probably will not help me out at all, probably will just well, at least the effect looks cool, I think but in Left 4 Dead, of course, pills heal you up and help you to stay alive longer against all those zombies. Ah, oh, Soul Heart. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't take it. Right now, at least. Uh, what is this? Um, luck up. Well, almost as good as luck down. This is a weird game, you get pills that say luck up and luck up actually doesn't do that much for you. It, it only changes some of the drops, but if you find a luck down, this is actually more interesting. Oh, more damage. Because this gives you more chests, chest drops. But there is a rare case, if you find uh, tough love and you find lots of luck up pills, with Tough love, the luck up will actually will actually increase the chance that you that you shoot a teeth instead of a tear. Uh, and the teeth teeth a tooth, I mean, sorry, English is not my first language. A tooth, uh, it deals like tri triple three times the amount of damage. And it's really nice if you can have tough love with with. Uh, about eight or nine luck ups, then you shoot teeth only. 
And if you watched any of Bisnaps run, Bisnaps loves runs where he has huge damage. Of course, everybody loves huge damage. Damage is the best thing in Isaac. But with all teeth. And then, um, yeah, if, if you have huge damage, uh, tough love. And, uh, and like 8 or 9, 7 to 9 uh, luck up pills, or about 8, I think. Then you should just shoot huge tears and if you get stuff like sacred heart then the tears are homing and if you get uh, if you get several sacred hearts then you get huge homing tears that float very slowly it's uh, tears that slow that fly very slowly it's very nice it's nice maybe uh, in the future i will also do some all tears runs but i'm not the thing is, of course, I'm gonna try for all teeth. Uh, if I, let's say, let's put it this way, if I find tough love in a future episode of this of these runs, and I find lots of luck apples, I'm gonna take the luck apples and I'm gonna take the tough love, no question asked. But the thing is, um, I think that reverse might be so close to finishing. That we in the future we might do uh, rebirth runs instead, and I'm not entirely sure if all this huge tears or uh, huge teeth only teeth only is entirely possible in rebirth. Of course, in rebirth, if you have seen any of the trailers, the stuff gets even crazier. In rebirth, you can have like you can have a homing effect, for example, Spoonbender. And you can have brimstone, and the brimstone shot actually curves in order to to seek curves. Uh, this your brims brimstone brimstone shot actually curves to hit the enemy. It bends itself to towards the enemy. It's very nice. And I also saw some some uh, promo video, which you should have seen as well if you care about rebirth. Where you have a combination of mom's knife and brimstone, and if you have this combination, you charge your brimstone normally, but instead of shooting a blood laser, you shoot a huge cloud of knives. And if this these knives are anything at all like mom's knife, they should do a hell of a lot of damage, which is kind of nice. Ah, uh, careful! I have to I have to concentrate for a second. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, half of my spirit heart gone. The magician didn't save me. What a butt. Oh, uh, no, I'm trapped. This is not good. Cube of meat delivering the finishing blow, but now I have no spirit hearts left. Uh, I don't want to be pessimistic, but I would probably lose this deal with the devil again. Not very nice. These guys are also not very nice. Uh, I shouldn't take damage in this room. I shouldn't take any damage. Okay, get over here. Yeah, one dead. No, thank you. Not interested. Actually, I think the um, cube of meat might be actually be dangerous in this room because if it if the if the tear is destroyed, it explodes immediately, and cube of meat might be able to destroy these tears in midair. Okay, this is good. I will get a soul heart from this fight, so if I don't get hit, I have a chance to not to get this uh, second second golden chest. Uh, that's that's stupid. I don't even have Guppy's tail on anything. Yes, yes, get you, get you destroyed. Da, da, da. Yeah, only two segments left. And it's spirit heart, nice. Shoot the poop. Yeah, this enemy is quite easy. This enemy is quite easy. Yeah, spawn your flies, you have no chance. You have no chance on earth. 
Two more flies, no problem. I got the lump of coal damage plus the meat damage. And yes, the final grandfather fly and no deal with the devil. What a bummer. So wanted to have like a pact or a pentagram. Of course, the nice brimstone. Yeah, let's finish uh, clearing this floor. More of these asses. And almost got hit. Wow, that was close. So close. I shouldn't. Uh, oh, there was no way of knowing what the boss was. I think I shouldn't have taken the spirit heart, but I couldn't. I couldn't know what the boss was. The boss could have been something. It could have been the fallen, I think, or and it couldn't have been conquest. And most of the Binding of Isaac players, or most of the more better known ones, agree that conquest is the worst boss in Binding of Isaac because it has these RNG attacks. The okay, the RNG attacks of conquest you can dodge. Oh, this room is not good. I don't like it. Because I'm slow. Too slow for my taste and I can't fly. Yep. Basically conquest. Oh hello. No, this is nice. Basically conquest. He's just he's just a butt because he has these very, very high very very high uh, speed tiers. And it's very difficult to dodge. I maybe even think he kind of ignores orbitals because when I've used to when I used to fight conquest and I even if I had several orbitals, he would still hit me very easily. It's very annoying. Okay. Let's look for the item room. Still no item room, well, this is annoying. Hmm, should I bomb for this? Hmm, yeah, let's do it. Some more money! We got to get money! Okay. And it's greed. Oh, greedo. Greedo, Magneto. I don't like you. Greedo, Magneto. I kind of think in a way if it wasn't for the a difference in HP greed would be the normal greed would be more difficult is more difficult than super greed because super greed shoots this four tier pattern that you can go right through but the normal greed shoots this three tier pattern where you have to uh, dodge actually you cannot just stand right in one in a straight line with with greed, because then the middle tier will hit you. So the only the only argument that could be made that super greed is more difficult than greed is that super greed has more HP. Okay, two of clubs. Hang on to that for a while. Man, I really want to have some great damage. I like runs where you have at least at least like two or three points of damage up. This is these are the runs I like, but now I'm just I need more damage. I have lots of hearts, but I want more damage, please. Please. More damage, please. Okay. These uh, these green ones and the white walking balls are actually not that or nubs or whatever they are called are actually not that bad. But the red ones, they're evil because they they have some re really weird shot angles. Oh no, not this room again. No! No! Please not! Please don't hurt me! I like spiders! I like spiders! Actually, I hate spiders, but anyway. Uh, I don't hate them, it's just that I'm, I'm not a big fan. Would not recommend to a friend. Okay, let's mom's knife, mom's knife. Oh, not mom's knife. Not mom's knife at all. 
Eternal Heart will pick that up before leaving this floor. Mm. Let's look, take a looky look. Take a look around. Take a look around. Take a look around. And see what this room is up. And it's a Bible. Wait, does this mean we have a... This could mean that we have an angel room on this floor. So, if I had like the habit or if I had like insanely great luck, this I think this could have been a sacred heart. Man, sacred hearts. I had, I think, one or two sacred hearts in my whole. I have several hundreds of uh, Binding of Isaac games that I didn't record before this one. And I think I have like one or two sacred hearts. It's so rare. In my opinion, one of the most consistent, if you want to get a sacred heart, your most, your best bet if you want to force a sacred heart without using spider mod, of course, is you start, try to break the game, try to go for the habit, for scapula, and for the D20, and then you can find an angel room on the floor and then use, uh, use like a curse room. To generate the thing for you because Sacred Heart man the drop rates are so incredibly low at certain points in the game I was honestly and I got out oh nicely at certain points of the game I was honestly like believing that they removed Sacred Heart because sometimes that happens this is this is this might be the this is said to be the way uh, that this uh, explosive diarrhea got removed. You, you remember this pill? You took it. It's still in vanilla Isaac, but not in in Reba, uh, in uh, Reba, in um, Wrath of the Lamb. In Wrath of the Lamb, you don't have this explosive diarrhea pill anymore. Uh, the pill, when you take it, you start pooping out bombs in a straight line, and they are all armed and about to explode. They are all, uh, the fuse is lit. Um, oh, dump damage. Man, rum. Why do you take so much dump damage, like seriously? It's not, it's not good, it's not strats. But anyway. And... I read an article where um, Edmund Macmillan actually was quoted saying that he doesn't know, in his opinion it might be a, a typing error, something on those lines. So the way I see it, explosive diarrhea has been removed from Wrath of the Lamp because of some coding issue. Okay, get to the chest later. I've still have the two of clubs, but now I have a burnt penny. And if you remember, oh, sorry. And if you remember, the burn penny has a 50% of dropping, not giving you, but dropping a bomb uh, whenever you pick up a coin. So whenever you pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance somewhere in the room a bomb will spawn, and it does have to be a, a consumable bomb, so not a troll bomb. Uh, that it drops these bombs instead of just giving these bombs can be important if you have things like if you have things like um, the d20 and you want to reroll consumables. Okay, touch this book to increase my library chance. Whore of Babylon. Uh, maybe if I get Gabby's paw or if I pick up an Ankh and respawn as Blue Baby, then as Blue Baby of course Hawk Babylon is great. Would recommend to a friend. Oh knights. I don't like rooms. No flying. Four knights and so little space to move. So I might put a bomb here. Makes things a little bit easier. Okay, two knights down. This should be manageable right now. Okay, you come here. Yeah. Yes, come on, please take damage. Thank you. Thank you very, very freaking much. And you die as well. 
Mandel Gish for all the lack of superpowers that I have right now as Isaac still Little Gish is nice and there's another bomb and we'll pick up that up later because I was so curious what would be in this room more gazing globins I took damage to exactly this room already on these floors which is kind of infuriating but I don't know it's just I don't have that much practice right now I might get more practice so that uh, my dodges will get better okay d6 is charged take this bomb and let's go all the way back travel all the way back to first look at this and it's a key yay yay joshi yaoshi yay 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 okay let's check out this one yeah, some mapping. Mm, why not? Uh, yeah. Maybe shouldn't have done that in that order, but yeah. Oh, and if I had known that the secret room is here, I could have saved this key. I could have saved it. Boy, but talk about saving. I'm saving up bombs right now. Still have the two of clubs. Honestly, might just use it. Or might have, might just save it, who knows? Maybe we can get up to 99 bombs. Sadly there's no money equals power for bombs. Bombs equals power, that would be fun. If you had 99... 99 cents? Ah, oh, okay, full suite of orbitals. That's nice. If you had 99 cents... 99 bombs... And then 99, 99 keys, and if there were two other items... Just like money equals power except for bombs and keys like bombs equal power and keys equals power and this would be lots of damage already this is why I'm so salty that I'm getting no deals with the devil because money equals power of course is also a devil room item since I take so much dumb damage I don't get any devil deals with the devil anymore but now I think the situation is that right now I only get deals with the angel. I, I'm not so sure. I saw the Bible. So in my book I should only be getting deals with the angel right now. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, definitely bomb for this stuff right now. With my not so underwhelming supply of bombs. And get hit again, stupidly enough. Honestly, I shouldn't take these soul hearts right away because I will just lose them to the boss. I have more than enough health to survive any any type of boss that I could expect right now. So I think I'm going to leave them on the ground. Yeah, would recommend to a friend. Um, if you don't know, the knights are a reference to an early Zelda game. It's one of those very first Zelda games. And... Those knights, they didn't look anything like these knights here. But they could only also only go in straight lines. And I think they had this shield. But, and this, so they could also couldn't be easily damaged from the front. In Binding of Isaac, I don't know about, about the Zelda game, but in Binding of Isaac there are chances like here, with the cube of meat, you can damage those knights. But... If you don't have slowing effects, it's quite dangerous. And if you have the knife, mom's knife, uh, and you do very short-ranged stars, could 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 come in handy later. Uh, Mr. Cool, Loki. Um, yeah, if you have mom's knife, and you do also, and you uh, perform some very short range steps then you can can actually jump uh, this you can actually damage knights from the front but it's 
it's not uh, not that not that easy. So you have to you have to time your steps, and it's it's not 100% pleasant, but it's a lot more pleasant than not having mom's knife. Generally, in Binding of Isaac, having mom's knife over not having mom's knife is actually a huge pleasant difference. Okay. Keeping him slow, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay. And it's Jesus Juice. I like Jesus Juice. Mm. Leave these soul hearts there on the ground. And let's check in here. And it's Kamikaze Flies. These will do twice my damage. And it's quite nice. It is quite nice indeed. Let's keep on searching for our brimstone or our... I don't know. I'm really... I'm, to be honest, I'm even in a fetus mood right now. Usually I'm not that big of a fan of the two fetus items, but right now, why not? It's the first episode. Why not go crazy a little bit? Okay, drops the heart. Thank you very much. And now... Hmm... Now... I should... Look here. And look, I can make use of my copious bomb supply. To go in here and... Get another bomb. Why not? Why not? Why not? So there should be nothing left to do on this floor. So let's head back. Let's head back. Let's head back. Let's head back. To the boss room. To the boss room. Shooting coley tears. Shooting black, black coley tears. Shooting those tears. Yes. Now it's time to grab those solis. And another one. And let's get on going. This should be the floor with the mom fight. And it's greed. And since we have the burn penny, if we have the if we want, we could farm greed. Greed farming is you enter the greed fight, you kill greed, but you make sure that at least one of one other enemy is alive. And whenever greed dies, he drops money or he drops a steam sail. And if you don't pick up the steam cells, you can get more and more and more steam cells, and you can start rerolling them. But it only really makes sense if you have nuns habit. And even then, even if you have nuns habit, it takes a long time. It takes a really long time. Okay, finish this guy. Finish these guys. And now I'm just looking. Looking for item rooms. I'm looking for the boss fight because... Because I have the stars, which means I can teleport out after the boss fight. So, use another bomb, and now there are only two hearts left, and two hearts are a lot more manageable. A lot more manageable. A lot. A whole freaking lot more manageable. Uh, here's a nice little machine. And let's keep on looking. Oh, look there, it's a chubby chub. It's a nice little chub. Eat some bombs, sir. Eat some bombs. And maybe... Mm, do I have another bomb for this guy? Yes, I have. Bon Appetit. Man Man Shi. Which means... Bon Appetit in Chinese. Man Man Shi. 
And he's almost dead. Come on, get dead, please. Thank you. What's in here? Um, more soul hearts. Yes, let me one of those. And no small rock, sadly. Here we can gamble. Of course, it is possible to avoid getting the skittle from this guy, but it would involve going off the room again and again and I don't know if I have the have the will right now to do it this way. Another turn heart is nice. And the troll bomb, but the troll bomb is far away. Uh, it's it has enough distance so that it doesn't blow up the sky, which is nice. Some keys are always nice. I like me some keys. And even more bombs, so right now I'm at 12 bombs, which is kind of cool. Bombs are always good. I like bombs because bombs can complement your damage output if you don't have that much uh, tier damage. And it's a black fly, so I should leave at least for the black fly. As black flies can reroll the room into a fortune teller machine, but in this case it didn't. Of course, if you don't know already, black flies, if you manage to spawn a black fly in a boss room, for example, by using using a portable slot, you can fight the boss again to get more items. It's quite, kind of nice. More money, more bombs, more health. So, if you, if you want to play really optimally, uh, whenever you get a skate hole with this guy, you can, if you directly, right now, I could directly go to the exit and prevent this guy from get, giving me a skate hole. Which means that I can, uh, this pretty fly is worthless because I already had three orbitals. And you can prevent the skull game from spawning any, from spawning any item. So you can get, easily get lots and lots more keys and bombs and everything, but right now I don't feel like it. I think this run is taking a long time already and we're not even down to the chest yet. Okay, some Greedo Beetles. Some Greedos. Some Greedo Beetles. So one's down, the other one is getting wrecked right now. Okay. Let's kill these dudes here real quick. And let's see, this one is firing, this one is firing as well. As far as I know, when these double-sided guys shoot, only one of their sides deals damage. This might be a, uh, an error in the coding, and it's randomly chosen, so you don't know. So you might, be, might get lucky, you don't get hurt, or you might get unlucky and you get hurt. At least that's what I read, or heard, from... Um, from Biznap, I think he said it. And well, I guess that's that's nice for you. Although it really shouldn't be this way. It, sh it should be, in my opinion, if I had the position to fix the code in this game, I would fix it that you do take damage from both sides. Because this, I mean, come on, two blood lasers, two blood lasers, a blood laser, a blood laser, and it should damage you. Full stop. There's really nothing else to say about that. Okay, here's a bum friend. And it's a habit. It's a nice habit. It is a nice little habit and a key. 
All right. So the habit, whenever I get hit, it gives me uh, it gives me three ticks of charge for my spacebar item, which means that any spacebar item will be filled up once I get hit twice, which is kind of insane, insanely good. One of the as long as you have good spacebar items, habits one of the really big ones, big one, one of the really big items. But there can be times when you play other characters, other than Isaac, where having the habit is not that great. Uh, last um, yesterday, I saw a run of some guy who had the habit, but he only had like Mr. Boom, and it's not that amazing if you only have Mr. Boom. But with the D6, it's kind of nice. Or with things like the Book of Revelations, or even Yamhart, or or the Nail. Okay, dumb damage, really dumb damage. Really, really dumb damage. Okay, get this guy destroyed. Here's an explosive fly, a boom fly. And since I did not pick up Skate Hole, the boom fly has normal speed. No way to save a key here. And it's speed and range. Do I want this? Hmm. Uh, Polyphemus, yes, I want that. Now what I really want is also is... Either of course Mom's Knife or Brimstone, because those would really put me over the edge. Over the edge in terms of damage and in terms of raw killing power. Some Mobilicus, really nice. Really, really nice, I have to say. Really, really nice. Okay. The stars is in the inventory again, which is important because otherwise we will not be able to skip this fight. Other commentators have hinted that, um, or that they hoped, that they hope to see, which I also hope, that in Rebirth, after you kill Mom, you will uh, be able to leave the room without teleport, which would be quite nice, because right now, it's just a waste. You can earn the Devil Room, but, un but if you don't have a teleport, it will not do you any good. You will not be able to enter it. You need to teleport, either Telepulse, or the Stars, or the Fool, or the Hermit. Or something like that. Or even the teleport spacebar item. Okay, almost done. Okay, almost done. Just a little, eeny tiny bit more damage. Breakfast, yay! Keep the burn penny for now in case I find more coins. But I will pick up the Polaroid trinket so that we can go down to the chest later. And let's see, did we earn a deal with the devil? No, we didn't. We didn't. What a bummer. Some people say they can hear when a deal with the devil spawns in the mom fight, but I, until now, I'm not that sure. I'm quite sure if you earn um, an angel room, which I totally forgot might be what we are earning right now, then, then I'm usually able to hear it. Because it has 
earning a deal with the angel has this very distinct distinct sound this whoa, 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 something sound so let's do some rerolling here don't like that very much and it's a blood bag right away right a freaking way yeah that's not that nice I don't want to damage myself for spirit hearts they wouldn't be strats really but ooh look how I look how my eyes looking right now I look like a freaking monster oh this looks this looks kind of insane some cyclops some blood drinking cyclops monster from hell okay don't want to meet that kind of thing in the dark this is one of the things I really like about Isaac that that every run has unless it's a seated run you have lots of different items and they all make you look so weird and different but right now this just looks I mean look at the eye look at this eyes it's terrifying take the Sun uh, Sun will heal us completely will heal all of our red hearts it's in the code it says about 3000 hearts or something about that number of recovery but it doesn't matter you can never have more than 12 red hearts active you can of course have more than oh I'm taking that I like respawn items uh, you can have more than um, you can of course have spirit hearts off the screen and you can have more than than 12 red hearts but the 12 red hearts won't be active won't do any good unless you use them for a deal with the devil or you you uh, yeah you lose red hearts for example through guppy's paw I think that this also works and um, so these thousands of hearts of recovery so um, these several thousands of hearts that the, the tarot card the sun gives you in health recovery it's they should have just said 12 that would have been enough I actually don't know why they put this in the code why they wrote yeah oh this is done damage by the way why give him so many thousands of hearts doesn't this kind of lag the game or something that if you have if you have thousands of hearts of recovery that this 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 causes performance issues sometimes i don't know i personally haven't ever experienced performance issues while using the sun but in general i think binding of isaac doesn't isn't too optimally in terms of coding and this might be one of the reasons why uh, Rebirth is actually coming out of course one reason I don't want more health by the way uh, use this after fighting the boss ideally because I don't want to re really want to fight a horseman of course you can always just use the book and say ah screw it Isaac's fork not very good uh, it's a horseman nice nice gg terrible item at least in this situation dead bomb did nothing dead bomb did absolutely nothing which is kind of not nice And let's kill this one. Not only the bicycle helmet is left. And let's go back to get some more rerolls.
Yes, yes, yes. This will take a long time. Ah, oh, backtracking. But I want the thing is, I could just go to the next the next floor and say, ah, oh, screw it. But this is the first episode I'm putting online on my channel, and I don't want to directly die. On this is the part where uh, this is the part where the cube of meat can screw you over right there. Destroyed the tier, made it explode. And it's not good. It's not nice. So the reason I farm more rerolls here is because I want to make sure that I win this first episode. I don't want to go totally strategy. You see with the with the with the arcade for example, I could have invested more time to uh, be even get even more advantages. But let's say it is if I if it's about farming rerolls, I'll be more optimally. Possibly not 100% optimally, but I will play um, more to my advantages than I normally would because it's the first episode and I don't want to die in the first episode. I don't want to be dishonest. I, if I die, if I should die in this episode, which might happen against Blue Baby, because my damage is not that good because I don't have Polyphemus, is, is only really good if you have the knife or brimstone or technology. But I want to make pretty sure that I don't lose on my first episode. In future episodes when I play different characters, if I random characters and I will random stuff like Samson or Eve, then it's quite, quite, uh, you will see quite a lot of lo losses I think. Because Samson and Eve they don't Bisnap is of the opinion that Samson is the worst character, but I think Eve, her damage multiplier that she has, uh, has a 0.8 damage multiplier, also makes her pretty bad. She gets two items, she gets um, the dead bird and the uh, half Babylon, but this does not make up for her damage multiplier at all. Not at all. She's an interesting character. Because she forces you, because she rewards you for getting hit with the dead bird and for having very low health with Hawk Babylon. But in my opinion, that's just not not very powerful. Okay, Book of Sin, get a drop here. And it's the Empress. Uh, High Priestess would be better. The Empress gives you a Half Babylon effect, which is stronger than the usual Half Babylon. It looks the same, it only works for one room, but it gives you more damage than Half Babylon, the real Half Babylon. And the reason I would prefer the High Priestess is there's a glitch where you can. Uh, High Priestess, if you use this card, it, it will make Mom's foot jump. Uh, no jump, but stomp in the current floor. And if you uh, pause and unpause at the right timing, you can um, make the foot stomp again and again and again. And this this can be used to kill Blue Baby and um, Isaac in a, a few moments, even if you don't have have high damage or anything. This item I also don't like it. Will not take it. Some more rerolls. Yes, still not that that high of a DPS, despite of despite every single tier being very high damage. I really I really want Mom's knife or Brimstone. This would make me really happy, but I can't find it. Gosh damn it! Ah, oh, those hearts. And only one heart left. Okay. 
pre-roll time. And it's a game kit. Not that amazing. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of this floor. Not that interesting. I could be playing differently, more optimal, but right now I think I'm kind of safe. And let's get this guy dead. Shoot him dead. Shoot you dead. Okay. Shoot you dead. And this one dead as well. Let's do one more reroll and then say goodbye to this floor. I have lost my interest in this floor, although I could be doing a lot more with my with the habit, of course. Yes, 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 could and should. I feel good about this run. I don't think I'm in too much danger right now. Uh, touch this one. Monster manual. Oh, let's look for for some more rerolls. Why not? Why not? When you can. When you can. When you have the chance to do it. Why don't you do it? Screw it. When you have the chance to do it. Why won't you do it? Why won't you do it? Yeah, yeah, no blood bag yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a bottle of pills, which is not that huge. Which is not that huge. Definitely want to keep the sun. Because with the sun I have so much health recovery. So much health recovery. And this is the... Floor where we will go down to the chest. Oh, do I want to reroll this for... Epic Fetus or something. Hmm. I like respawn items, to be honest. And I take it, because why not? So now I have two respawn items. One is Blue Baby, and one is... Where did I get Brother Bobby, by the way? No, I didn't get Brother Bobby, but some item just changed my my mushroom, my mini mush to a Brother Bobby. Hmm, interesting. But what was I talking about? Oh, I forgot it already. Ah, yes, I have two respawn items. I have Diank, and I have one up. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. And I'm not sure which in which order the, the Ankh responds you as blue, blue baby and the one up responds you as yourself. And I'm pretty damn sure that these two stack so that you get that that I can die two times right now without being dead for real. Okay, another spirit hardy body. This one gets killed by our QB booby. And you get 
two shots, three, four, and he splits up. And I guess each of these ones needs two shots to be destroyed. The nice thing about Polyphemus is if it overkills an enemy, the tier will reduce itself and um, deal damage to the next enemy. So there's there's a watered down piercing effect here. It's not as good as if you had Cupid's Arrow because Cupid's Arrow gives you 100% piercing. But it's nice. It's nice. Get a little key. Now six keys. Feeling quite good about that. And this is not the boss room. How sad. How sad is that? But at least now I know where the boss room should be. It should be... Up here somewhere. The Magician! Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, kill this guy. Okay, these things should not be a problem. But that's what I said about, but at least what I thought about those globins earlier as well. And it turned out to be a real problem. Anyway, let's grab this money. And it's another boss. But at this point, these, these bosses are not really a threat anymore. I'm dealing enough damage to deal with it quickly. Polyphemus takes care of these flies as well. Another key, nice. I always like having some spare keys. You never know when a gubby's tail might pop out from an unexpected location. Okay. Now there's just guts, and with guts I can deal easily, two-shotting them. This one, three ones left. Got you. Got you, got you. Man, I remember the first time I was in this level, in this utero, it, it was so disgusting. Because, I mean, look at the walls, look at this bloody, fleshy stuff, it's, it's really disgusting, honestly. Ouch! Stop touching me! You little... You little... Sick version of myself. Yeah, with... With Super Lost you can really see that almost all the bosses are versions of Isaac. This is this is some form of twisted humor. And Admiral McMillan himself said that he wished that he originally wished to to make uh, the Gurdy enemy, the big hunk of flesh, actually an enemy that is totally composed out of nothing else but Isaac's dead bodies. Which is very interesting. Oh, I shouldn't have killed that one. Yes. But he said that uh, when they tried to make concept art for Gurdy being totally made out of Isaacs, um, it just looks too confusing. But the idea is nice, I think. But of course, if you look at how Gurdy and Gurdy Jr., but mostly. I, I think. Yeah, but wait a minute. I think um, Gurdy Jr. also looks nice. The only thing that makes me hate about Gurdy Jr. is that he's a really mean, mean, mean boss. Especially if you have a chest where you have two Gurdy Juniors at the same time. And this is... Or even a cathedral room can have two Gurdy Juniors at the same time, which is really mean. Which is just mean. But the art for Gurdy Jr. in my opinion looks good. And for the Gurdy as well, so I'm kind of happy that it turned out the way it turned out. Okay, use some bombs to make this fight go quicker. Monstro. You are getting it, mister. 
You are getting it right now. And yes, some more shots and you should be down. And yes, thank you for dying. Thank you very much. Okay, now these eyes get directly blasted. Another bomb takes care of, hopefully, yes, of all the four knights. Another bomb takes care of these two. And the Duke of Flies. Thankfully, a very low HP boss. And we have to repeat it bombs, and I get hit very stupidly. But the de devil or angel room in this on this floor doesn't mean anyway, it's just a trap do door down to show. And as I already hinted at, we are not going to show. We are taking this first episode down to the chest if we can. If we die on blue on Isaac or on Blue Baby or somewhere in the chest, for example. That's too bad, but I'm going to take it. I don't want to end my first Isaac run, Isaac episode with a show run. That's just not too nice. Okay, where could the boss be? I should be going left, but despite all the logic, I'm going right. I just have this feeling, you know? Sometimes I have a feeling. My feeling tells me that the boss is there on the right. Secret room. Another pill. And it's money. Yes, needed that. Desperately needed that. Which is a lie. I didn't need it. Didn't need it at all. Not even a little bit. Oh yes, those angel fetuses, favorite enemies, 10 out of 10, would recommend to a friend. And yeah, perfect teleport, congrats. I'm not doing as much damage as I want, so the Isaac and Blue Bay fights are going to take a while. Uh, nope, not worth doing this room. In all honesty, let's get the hell out of here. So, we'll have to look somewhere else for the boss room. Ah, uh, Greedo. Greedo Bido. Yeah, this makes me wish I had found more bombs. Back in the... Back where we had like the opportunity with our burnt penny and uh, greed farming, I could have just killed him over and over again and gotten more and more bombs with my burnt penny. It might have even started to farm items, but I don't want to do a breaking run right as the first episode for some reason. I don't feel like it. Here's a nice little tinted rock. Come to Papa, and it's a chest, and it contains bombs and money. The money is, of course, very much needed, with very much meaning not at all. And this room is a butt. It's a stupid room. I don't really want to do anything in here. So we bomb again, and get out unscathed. Man, I have very bad luck with my boss room guesses. And this is the boss is not the boss room as well. Oh, it's not the boss room either. You have to think about your English, man. Can't just use false grammar. This doesn't work that way. Let's bomb through here. Kill this fire. 
leave one open in case we find a reroll opportunity. And it's still not the boss, so I've like made all the wrong choices. Down and left would have been the right choice. Not gonna waste spirit hearts on that stuff because I don't have flying. And if you don't have flying, you will get hit twice by a by entering a curse room because you have to go out again. So basically the choice to go into a curse room if you don't have flying or any invulnerability items or oh, it was stupid. Come on, get out. Get out. It will hit you, you will get hit twice because you will get hit going in. And you will get hit going out. Play you a little bit. Play, 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 and it's the one dollar bill, and it's a thin out mushroom. Might be a damage up, but I don't really like this item. Uh, it might be a DPS up, but I don't like this item because it reduces your damage, and I'm allergic to that. I want the reason here is basically I want to keep as much damage as possible because I want to have brimstone or mom's knife. Maybe mathematically speaking. I would still do more damage if you attack that, but I don't know. I don't feel like it, and you can't. You can't make me. This is my argument. You can't force me to take it, and I won't take it. Go home. If you want to force me to take stuff I don't want to take, no dice. I won't do it. Okay. It's quite a nice chunk of health depleted already. And we should be able to do this quite handily. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 he's almost done. Remember, I still have the sun. So if I get down to my Polaroid invincibility, I will pop the sun and have 11 hearts again, which is nice. Which is really nice. Lots of angelic fetuses, lots of, lots of angelic babies. gets a little bit overwhelming so now I will start using some bombs doing some nice damage maybe killing uh, an angelic baby in the process that bomb was, was wasted That bomb was so wasted. Wasted like uh, you don't know what. Man, I'm taking so much damage. The damage is real. Okay. That guy is dead. And we just go and we hope for mom's knife, 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 mom's knife. Well, not that ideal. Seriously, I want mom's knife. I don't want any of this other stuff. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I also don't like mutant spider, so I won't take it. You can't make me. I want mom's knife. I don't want any of your other stuff. Man. 
I looked at eight items right there, and all of them were not what I wanted. What are the odds? Not even, uh, not even slightly what I wanted. Yeah, but the nice thing about the sun card is, once we activate it, we will know for sure where the boss is. I'm quite sure, certain I know where the boss is, but if you activate the sun card, you are very certain. You are basically 100% certain. Okay, almost done with this room. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. One tick left for my reroll. One nice little tick left. Gurdy, you dirty gurdy. Dirty gurdy. Dirty little gurdy. Oh, I don't, didn't want to get hit there. Almost have to pop my sun card already. If I get one more hit, I will play it safe and pop my sun card. Because it would be very stupid to die right here. I think I still have enough killing power to take care of Blue Baby. And yeah, I just remembered I have two respawn items. I have the Ankh and I have one up. But still, why risk it, right? Why take unnecessary risks? And roll it. Not what I want. Not at all. Not what I wanted. Take this book out of the library pool in case we get another library. Ha ha ha! Which would be impossible. We can't get another library, but why risk it? Maybe there's a bug and we get another library anyway? That would be so interesting. If there was a mod for Isaac where you could still get libraries and shops and item rooms inside the chest. Would make make the game too easy though, so might not be the best of ideas. But I'm really curious if Rebirth will have any any ex any very strong changes about how rooms work. I read that in Rebirth there will be even more special rooms. And I should pop this one. Now we know for certain what the boss is, which is nice. Nice stuff. Very nice. And get a few more rerolls. And then take care of Blue Baby. We'll be good. I promise. We will do it. At least I promise to do my best. As long as something doesn't go horribly wrong, I should be able to take this sucker down. Should be able to take him down. Might not be the cleanest of fights because my damage is not Mom's knife damage. Because although I've rerolled so many things, I haven't seen neither Mom's knife nor ah trapped. Yeah, there was no way. There was no way I would get out of this. Apart from using uh, teleports, but I don't have, and which you sh really shouldn't use in the chest, because. Telepills in a chest. What's this again? Uh, we'll deal with it later or in a second. Because telepills in the chest, they can you take you to the iron arrow room. And the iron arrow room is usually very bad because, in, in usual levels, it can cause you to skip uh, an item room or a boss item or it can, it can make you skip a lot of good things. But especially in a chest, it traps you, so if you don't have another way to teleport, you are stuck. There's a chance that you get a teleport in the IMR room, but it's still not a good thing to do with your time. Okay, now reroll it and hopefully get Mom's knife. Get Mom's knife, come on. Oh, at least some damage up. So I will take the damage up. SMB super fan is not that much of a damage up, but I still I uh, think I'll take it. Because I want damage, man. I'm hungry for damage. Give me the damage.
and I still have my hopes up to get something really nice. I could use my respawn items to farm rerolls here, but I should have done that earlier. Because now I only have one item left and this is not really how I want to play this. Using the hangman because I'm going to take so much damage here anyway, I don't want to take even more damage. But hopefully I can, uh, to be honest, the uh, 10 bombs, oh no, ah, that was dumb, that was mean, you're a mean game, you're really mean. So I'm hoping to, what I'm really hoping here for right now is that that although the 10 bombs that I have uh, at my spawn location are really good. I'm still hoping for something better, to be honest. I'm still hoping for some some really nice Mom's Knife action, to be honest with you guys. I have Polyphemus and either Brimstone or Mom's Knife would put me into the state I want to be, which is Overkill. Okay, this room is easy again. So let's go ahead and kill this stuff and take our probably last reroll. And then take out Blue Baby. And so many boom flies. Annoying. Okay, he's done. Spawns two more boom flies. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lots of boom going on here. Man, I really wished I had more damage with this. I really wished for like... Even a technology would be so good. Some huge nice technology laser. So let's cross our fingers. Come on, slide. Don't be a jerk. Let me go through. Let me pass. Don't be a Gandalf. Don't be a Gandalf that says you shall not pass. Be a nice dude and let me pass. Yes, GG, we won. Okay, we won. This is the wafer. This is what it comes down to. This means we can recover one heart, one red heart, every two hits. This doubles our health. We now have 12 hearts. And this means we have 24 hearts of damage we can take before we go to our, our one up. So I'm pretty sure we won this. GG. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we should even have a few spirit hearts, uh, or soul hearts. Are they called soul hearts or spirit hearts? Ah, I, I forgot it. But it doesn't matter. So, this is how it works. We get hit twice, pop the yum heart, and get one red heart back. And this causes you to die very, very, very slowly. And while we don't have extremely good damage, even this normal poly damage is enough to do it for us. So let's do a little bit of dodging. We have a full set of orbitals, which will eat up a lot of blue baby shots. Shots, and I mean a lot. A lot of shots. So yeah, he's getting it. You can't stop me, Blue Baby. You think you can, but you cannot stop me. You think you're hot stuff, but you aren't. You're not hot stuff, remember that. 
Remember that. Okay. Okay. Second phase. I will start dropping bombs when the angelic babies come up because from my experience with the Isaac fight in this run, angelic babies can become really overwhelming and it's really good if you have some nice bombs to clear out their ranks, so to speak. This is why things like Epic Fetus and Dr. Fetus are just so good. Because they just they just destroy angelic babies and of course uh, you can with epic fetus you can hide in a corner be very far away from the tier shooting center and just let the rockets do your job yes pop the yum heart be back to full health yeah, and with the yum heart and five bombs remaining there's not really a way we're losing this we even have respawn items, so GG. G, F, and G, man. Oh, come on, it's only got one of them. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Okay, gonna scratch my nose. <laughs> hmm. Gonna take a bit of water nice water and let's get back water is so great water is the best 10 out of 10 come on Isaac die already I have the habit and the young heart it's futile. Resistance is futile. You will be cried on and destroyed this way. Resistance is futile. And few more hits. He's gone, and the angelic babies are toast. You are toast, you are about to be toast as well. And that's it. We won. Thanks for watching. And we'll see what comes up next. So you can stick around for a few seconds watching these disturbing images. But I'll just say uh, thanks again. And see you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.